Hi, everybody. Welcome to this week's show. I am joined in the studio. You can't see them, but you can hear them. If you'd like to see them, donate to our Indiegogo campaign <laughs> so we can get everybody on the camera. So from the miserable liberal blog, it's our resident Latina, Steph Zamorano. Hey, Steph, how are you? I'm great. I'm still here, Jimmy. All right. Also with us in the studio... Uh, resident Japanese man, hilarious comedian, Robert Yasumura. Hey, Robert, how are you? Ohio. Ohio is how we say hello in Japanland. <laughs> also with us, comedian, hilarious comedian, Hank Thompson, the smoothest bald head in the business. How are you, Hank? Hey, Jimmy, it's also the most symmetrical. Symmetrical. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sexy baldness. Let's get to the, uh, let's get to the, that's what's called... Let's get to the jokes before we get to the jokes, shall we? Did you hear Trump's new handlers say that Trump, that's not really who he really is this last couple of months. He's just pro projecting an image. That's what his new handlers have said. You've heard this, right? That yes. You've heard in the news, right? So, so, so let me get this straight. Trump is really just a pathological liar who is only pretending to be a racist, sexist piece of shit. Now, that's what I call presidential. <laughs> Hey, did you hear that uh, Ted Cruz and John Kasich teaming up to beat Trump? That's right. Did you hear Larry and Curly are teaming up to deny Mo the GOP nomination? <laughs> <laughs> Turns out, yeah. I think their new uh, their campaign slogan is going to be Cruz Kasich. Too little, too late. <laughs> um. Yes, the Ted Cruz-John Kasich alliance is the biggest threat to Trump since Chris Christie teamed up against him. <laughs> Better watch out. I think we, we all get that joke, don't we? <laughs> it's a large map. You know, Republicans are in disarray. They need to find their way back to the days when their most powerful party leader was a pedophile rapist. <laughs> <laughs> Remember all those years under Denny Haster? That's right. Hey, Cruz picked Carly Fiorina, by the way, as his running as his running mate, and uh, I think that's what you call a fail Mary pass. <laughs> <laughs> Super desperate. Hey, did you? Everybody's touting Trump's foreign policy speech. I decided to build a wall around Trump's foreign policy speech. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Trump is often called the anti-establishment. Anti-establishment. Donald Trump, they call him anti-establishment. I guess if the establishment are people who respect women and don't retweet white supremacists. <laughs> you know all those outsider billionaires? The outsider no. billionaires. Yeah. Outsider the outsiders. white billionaires. Coming up on today's show, uh, we got a... Senator from Pennsylvania sings a song for Hillary Clinton, a little bit uh, awkward. Also, Hillary Clinton <laughs> won big in the Tuesday night primaries. We're going to talk a little bit about that and her, her, uh, uh, her victory speech. That's what we're going to talk about. Get ready. Get ready for four years of it. Get ready. <laughs> also, uh, also, guess what? Former Speaker of the House... For the Republicans, Denny Hastert goes down, gets sentenced for being a serial molester, the party of family values. We're going to take a look at the party of family values coming forward. Also, uh, we're going to talk about Social Security and fracking. Hey, what's fracking so whacking for? They got a new cool guy doing some pro-fracking videos that might have played in front of this video. We're going to break down those pro-fracking videos on the show today. Also... Uh, we got phone calls today from... Oh, uh, John Boehner. From John Boehner. S Bernie Sanders calls in, plus a lot, lot more. That's today on the Jimmy Dore Show. Mm -hmm. 